the classic imaging of the aortic root uh, has been measurement of the aortic root uh, in a longitudinal axis. And this is a, a, a favorite image uh, through echocardiography. And generally, uh, the, uh, the two sides of the aortic root is measured, in this particular case, is measured about 4.8 centimeter. However, more uh, detailed measurement of the aortic root is more depicted here. As you can see, the uh, opening of a normal trilucid aortic valve uh, looks like a, a triangle. And here you can see the, the three scallops of the aortic root uh, during uh, diastole. Uh, it, here, uh, you, you don't see a Mercedes sign because of these uh, measurement markings. However, th there is a, a Mercedes sign uh, and valve is closed. You can see the uh, three sinuses have different measurements. Uh, one has a 4.6 centimeter uh, to the uh, left. Uh, to the right has 4.7 centimeter and actually non-coronary sinus of Alsalva has 4.8 centimeter. Um, many years ago, we discovered that there is an uh, asymmetric uh, dilation in, in cat patients. And we um, analyzed the group of patients. And we uh, realized that this asymmetry persists in majority of the patients. When we um, actually uh, analyzed this statistically, found out there is a significant statistical significant difference between these three sinuses. Here you can see non-coronary sinus of Alsalva takes about 37.1% of the circumference of the root. Left most of the time is the smallest, and right uh, is somewhere in between. So this um, is a good testimony that the natural uh, protection of the left corner sinus is probably the best compared to the right and none. And none remains the most vulnerable portion of the aortic root. Uh, most of the aortic surgeons have noticed that the uh, most exten extensive dissection and involvement in the aortic uh, root uh, rupture uh, happens with the uh, non-coronary sinus of Alfalva. Here is an intraoperative uh, picture. Uh, essentially, you can look at the aortic root, which is right here. You can see the triangular uh, opening of the uh, aortic uh, valve. This particular patient did have asymmetry of the non-coronary sinus of Alfalva. Uh, underwent uh, annual class B as well as well as remodeling of the aortic root. Uh, this patient had a central uh, aortic insufficiency jet, um, and the uh, subalveolar aortic root annual class B uh, completely um, helped this patient to have uh, essentially no regurgitation at all. Uh, so. This background graph is essentially the uh, popular material that is used uh, within a uh, few weeks after implantation. Uh, very nicely gets carpeted with patients' own natural cells and becomes shiny inside and outside and forms the patient's new aorta. This is a side branch that is used uh, for technical visibility when the perfusion Analyze placed into the new Dacron graph um, to facilitate the uh, recanalation, and that is tied off at the end of the procedure. Part of the remodeling uh, that we use is a, uh, a piece of fabric called Teflon felt. Uh, as you can see here, uh, there is an indentation and a cutout uh, to override the left uh, main coronary arteries. And here, there is another uh, cutout that overwrites the right coronary artery. 
this pipe rose very well to the uh, uh, remaining portion of the aortic root, stabilizing the aortic root for uh, many decades to come in uh, at least about nine and a half year uh, follow-up. Uh, we had none of these patients that required to uh, come back to surgery uh, for any aortic root uh, dilation uh, or uh, a dissection. 